My friends sacrificed so much to secure peace with the Klingons. I bear the responsibility for the consequences to him and his crew, a thought that troubles me to this day. The hope was that this alliance would last forever. It did not. The Klingons have chosen war. The Federation is doing its utmost to protect its borders and the billions of innocents who call this space home. But I fear that this conflict may be our undoing. Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the Ambassador to Pajem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Kal Rec holiday. He will be done soon, but the Ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. I believe that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the Ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, this is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay.
peace and long life. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Sarketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajem. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found... Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I will permit it if you will pledge to me, on your honor as a Starfleet officer, that you will protect Pajem from harm. Soketh says his reasons for wanting to speak to the Abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Welcome to Vulcan. Do you have any questions? How should I know? He is a small man with small concerns. Thankfully, he has listened to reason, and our journey... Starfleet Shuttlecraft, we have logged your flight trajectory, and you are cleared for departure. Live long and prosper. Your inventory has a replicator that will allow you to buy and sell items. Press I to open your inventory. Captain Katak to all Klingon vessels. Target their warp drive. There will be no escaping our vengeance this time.
Cease your fire, Captain! Perhaps today is a day for words. My fellow captains were blinded by our vengeance toward the shapeshifter aboard your vessel. They have died with honor. But if I am to die this day, then I would prefer to regale the halls of Stovokor with the tale of that foul creep. Ha! So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Your guest from Vulcan is not as he or she seems, Captain. They are an Undine. They put on a false face and try to control us, but we Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of these honor proof. Pa! Allow me to stick a blade in its belly while I look it in the eye while it dies. If you wish the honor of the kill yourself, then it is yours to have. So long as the Undine dies, I will meet my death with eyes wide open. My patience is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, then the beast is slain? Makka! Very good! Perhaps not the heart of a warrior after all. Captain, I take my meditations very seriously. Why have I been... Alive? You're a fool, Captain! Strike now before it's too late! You want proof? Then lower your shields and allow me to beam over. Once the Undine's blood... There's no need, Captain. The situation is not difficult to unravel. My concern lies on the logic of you entertaining this Klingon. A most illogical conclusion. Allow us to examine the facts, Captain. You have a crippled Klingon vessel whose captain has made unsubstantiated claims that I am an Undine, a species that is known to both the Federation and the Klingon Empire as a considerable threat. Potentially, but only if a great many other factors were to be true. Is it not much more likely that the Klingons have, in the face of defeat, instead to exploit Starfleet's desire for peaceful resolutions to conflict, in order to repair their vessel and renew their assault. A true 
warrior strikes without mercy, Captain. I only hope to teach him this lesson personally before the Undine die. A wise precaution. Though I admit I am eager to see my people safe, I will await word until the A wise precaution. Though I admit I am...